Standard position of an angle. Uh, here I have about five set of videos which talk about angles. So what are angles and how they are measured? What is standard angle? What is related acute angle? What is principal angle? And what is coterminal angle? Right. So these are different angles which we are going to use in trigonometry. So let's try to understand them. And here we'll talk about standard position of an angle. An angle in Cartesian plane is in standard position. If its initial arm, the arm that is fixed, coincides with the positive x-axis and its vertex is at the origin. Right? So that is what standard position of an angle is. So let me draw here and then explain to you. So that is our Cartesian plane, right? So if we have an angle in a Cartesian plane, let's say angle like this a ray which starts from I should have drawn first the initial arm ray that starts in the direction of positive x-axis think like this so that's our initial arm right and which starts from origin so so starting point is origin of the Cartesian plane O right and it moves in the positive x direction so ray is going outwards. Now how an angle is formed? Angle is formed when the ray rotates. And if the ray rotates, in this case, counterclockwise, and comes to that position, so this will be called as our terminal arm, right? So this is our terminal arm. Terminal arm is the one which moves, right? And initial arm is the one which does not move. It is fixed. And we call that as a starting position, right? So, and if this initial arm coincides with, this is our x-axis, right? And that's the y-axis. With x-axis, right? And it starts at origin. That means the vertex of the angle is at vertex O, 0, 0 position. Do you understand? Then we say that the angle formed is in standard position, okay? So if I have any other angle, let's say let's say I make an angle here. This is not in standard position, unless and until I make a coordinate system, and specifically say, well, this is my x-axis and that's the origin. Do you understand? Then it becomes angle in standard position. Otherwise, not. Or even if I draw a coordinate axis like this, and then I draw my angle like this. So that angle is not in standard position simply because the initial arm does not coincide with the x-axis okay so that is not in standard position if I draw an angle here this is also not in standard position since the vertex is not at the origin right so that is how you have to see so when we are talking about standard position of an angle then we are saying that the vertex of the angle is at the origin and the initial arm coincides with the x-axis okay moving positive direction okay so that is what it is so let's read it again an angle in cartesian plane is in standard position if its initial arm the arm that is fixed coincides with the positive x-axis and its vertex is at origin so that is what standard position of an angle is the terminal arm can be in any quadrant. That means terminal arm could be here, right? Or I could draw here another one. So in which case, let's say that's my initial arm, which is fixed, right? And let's say it rotates and it comes to this position. So that is my terminal arm. So it, now it is in quadrant two, correct? So we have quadrants and this is our quadrant one that is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, and that is quadrant 4. So that is how these quadrants are labeled, right? So where this is our x-axis, that's the y-axis, positive x, this is minus y, minus x. Good. So that is what the initial uh, that is how the coordinate system looks like. As you know, coordinate system has four quadrants. One, two, three, four. 
So the terminal arm could terminate here, 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 or anywhere, right? In any of those four quadrants. That's what it means, right? And as you know, this is zero degrees, right? If the terminal arm terminates here only, it doesn't. It makes an angle of zero degrees. If it terminates here, it makes an angle of 90 degrees. If it terminates here, it makes angle of 180 degrees. And in this position, it makes an angle of 270 degrees. And one full circle is also referred to as 360 degrees. So standard position has two important things. One, the vertex has to be at the origin. Second, that the initial arm is along the positive x-axis, right? The angle is measured positive from the initial arm to the terminal arm when rotating counterclockwise. So whenever you rotate counterclockwise, the angle is measured as positive. That means this is positive. Let me draw one more here. Let me draw here. So let's say this is the initial arm and that is my terminal arm. Then the positive angle will be this one. That is my positive angle. Let us say this is 300 and 300 degrees, let us say, right? So let us say this is 300 degrees. So this is considered as positive. As you know, full circle is 360 degrees. So I could measure this angle like this also, correct? So that much will be 60 degrees because the total is 360 degrees. So this will be called as minus 60 degrees and that will be referred to as plus 300 degrees. So all the angles which are in standard position, remember, the angles in standard position, if you move counterclockwise, then they are positive. And if you move clockwise, they are negative, okay? So that is important thing to consider here in trigonometry. The angle is measured negative from the initial arm to the terminal arm when rotating clockwise. Correct? So that is the important thing. The angle is measured positive when rotating from initial to terminal arm in counterclockwise. But when rotating clockwise, it will be considered negative. Correct? So if it is clockwise, it will be negative. So the same angle can be referred to in different ways. For example, here we have an angle. Let's say this is my initial arm, right? And this is my terminal arm. And let's say this angle from, if you measure from counterclockwise, it is more than 180 and less than 270 degrees, right? So let's say this is 220 degrees. 220 degrees when measured counterclockwise. So what will it be when I measure it clockwise? If I measure it clockwise, it will be 360 degrees minus 220 degrees, correct? which will give me 140 degrees. But we will write this as negative 140 degrees. Remember that. It is negative when it is moving counterclockwise. Correct? So angles in standard position could be positive or could be negative. Right? If you are measuring it in the direction of counterclockwise, they will be positive. If you are measuring them clockwise, they will be negative. Okay.